What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house. This is an off-the-cuff discussion video. Actually, discussion slash speculation video. It's a video I've been wanting to do for like the longest and I can't wait. So just so you know, this is definitely there's definitely gonna be a part two and some corrections on this. But today I am talking about Ember. <laughs> This is just what I want to talk about and I'm kind of tired of waiting on info so this we're just gonna speculate uh, if you hear anything that sounds interesting or you have anything that's interesting leave it below down in the comments and all that you know well let's get to it so Ember oh Ember oh Ember oh Ember what, what is your goals what is your purpose why did you take Serafina's powers away? Even though it, it was probably for the best for her to get some real, uh, uh, not speculation, but to get some real perspective in life on how the, you know, how the other side lives and all that. I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure she'll be a better person for it. You know, like she is a better person for it now. She was already kind of a good person anyway. But as we know, Ember is the organization who was allegedly may or may not be involved with the authorities that run the world of unordinary or we don't we don't know this there's like literally like literally as of per this recording i don't know any theories about ember and i just got done looking on the wiki the wiki really doesn't know anything either which i don't really trust the wiki too much anyway because it can be changed any moment in time but right as of right now there's really nothing all we know and actually this as I was looking through the wiki and this kind of dawned on me too, the only person we know that might be involved with Ember is Vulcan. I mean, I'm gonna just go ahead and say that she's involved, that she's a member of Ember, but it was not expressly confirmed that she is a part of Ember. No one has come out or we haven't seen a picture with Ember's sigil or something in the back saying, yeah, she's, she's with us, just saying. But I'm like, but let's all be real here. She, she's a part of Amber. And if she's not, then she's one heck of a drug dealer. <laughs> Cause, woo, she got skills. But, but what I want to talk about is like, what, who, what, what are they doing? What is the purpose? Now, we all know the hierarchy is a big thing, is a big plot point in the story of, in the, in the story and all that not even just in like the school the hierarchy extends all the way out into regular society we got to see how it really affects the low tiers and stuff with more detail when Remy dressed up as a uh, x-ray to uh, you know to try and figure out what is going on we saw how low tiers uh, live in the city for the most part they they are self-governed they because the authorities are like, I'm not gonna waste my time with a low tier. And then the people that take advantage, and there are people who are mid tiers or higher, take advantage of this. And what can you do? Because automatically you, you are taught from birth to respect the hierarchy. And this is your lot in life and you just deal with it. You try to make the best out of the situation, which is, I mean, you, that in and of itself is just how strong of a person that you really are. You can and you've managed to find some peace with it, but I mean, no one really has peace, but I'm rambling. So, the thing, the thing, the thing I, the thing with Ember is, I feel like Ember is an organization of mid to high tiers and a few low tiers for image sake, but I feel like it's a bunch of, I feel like it's a few mid tiers that got the idea, or high tiers, like I said, all this is pure speculation, this is off the top of my dome, I just wanted to talk about Ember. So, but let's continue. So, I feel like Ember is comprised of mostly maybe like uh, mid tiers that 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 got their hands on the enhancing drug, and now they're considered like as far as like the chart will go, they'd be considered like high tiers or whatever. And I feel like it's just like, man, I'm tired of living this way. Uh, we do you see our people and all that? Now, I don't we. 
from what we from what we've seen, or what I know, from the limited knowledge that I have, Ember does not mess with mid tiers or low tiers. They only go after so like select high tiers and the vigilantes. Now I don't. I feel like they only go after the vigilantes because they know the police don't really give two farts about them and all that. But I mean. It, like I said, it, it's this is all speculation, but I'm, I'm the that the part that gets to me is like, you know, you could you could get these you could corner these vigilantes, you could take their powers and all that. I'm, I'm not understanding the killings of them because they 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 don't do it in like you know, like you know, killing anyone. Period. Is there's no nice way to do it. But I mean, they do it in like a brutal way. Like all of their victims, and I got a, I got a list of like some of them. The list is kind of big but I got a list of the people they've killed but the people they kill they sorry YouTube the people that they X off they they stab them and then in multiple in multiple locations over their body and then they leave their bus uh, their symbol their burn mark on them. that that's messed up dude that's there's no easy way to go out I personally I have been <laughs> dog, it, that is, that ain't no joke, like real talk. It is, there's, there's no bueno. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. But like, I gotta, I'm not gonna name off every single last person that they have X'd off, but here's some. They, they X'd off somebody named Radiance. Uh, all these people I'm naming off have not, we don't know what they look like or uh, if we really haven't talked about it. I think, I think in the wiki it said these people were on a flyer, but you can go and check that. But. They killed a person called Radiance Equinox uh, Shatterstack. Now, apparently, this person named Shatterstack, once again, we don't know what they look like. Um, when Vaughn, the headmaster, and Keenan heard about it, they were talking about it. Now, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go back through the story and figure and see when, so I can make some. Forget it. But they killed someone named Genie, and they killed someone named Hurricane. Apparently, all of these vigilantes or superheroes, whatever you want to call them. They were not pushovers. They were pretty strong, and uh, Ember took all of them out. I just named off like five, six names, and then on top of that, we already know they killed Ray, or his vigilante superhero name was Ecstatic. They got him too. So now that's what I'm really trying to figure out. I was like, why? I'm like, like maybe they had to kill them in like the early stages before they figured out how to take abilities, and maybe Seraphina and maybe like a few others that we don't know about yet. They're like the new test subjects. Like, okay, let's see if we can take um, these these people's abilities without having to, you know, kill them or whatever. I, I don't know, because it's really strange how they just go from kill. Like I said, I feel like they go after the vigilantes mostly for the fact that the, they know the police, the authorities or whatever, just doesn't care. They're just happy that they're off the streets and not, you know, causing a ruckus amongst. Them. The hierarchy. That's, that, to me, that's what I've been getting from like the old story. For the most part, the hierarchy is like the most important thing in society. Like, like I said, if you're grown up taught, if you're a high tier, mid tier, you're pretty much golden. But if you're a low tier or a cripple, boy, you're you get you drew the Joker on that one. Pun intended. <laughs> Well, depending on how the Joker is used, it can be a powerful weapon or it can be a dummy card. You know, if you play cards, you know what I'm talking about. But it, it's crazy. So, like, now, like I said, all this is speculation. Now, this is how I think Ember is probably going to be structured, how we're going to be introduced to them. Now, I, like I said, I do think that Vulcan is a part of the part of the ranks of Ember now. Where she exactly falls in, I'm not really sure, but I think it's like this. I think and I think uh, Vulcan is probably a part of a squad that's maybe maybe no more than six six people deep, and I don't think she's the strongest. I don't think she's necessarily weak. She might be like the third strongest out of this group. This 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 imaginary group that I have made up. This is all in my mind. Keep up with me now. So I feel like she is part of like the the squad that goes out and handles like you know. We'll give you the drugs. You go deliver it to you know this set. And I feel like they each got they, they each got their own uh, routes. Or maybe not even routes. Maybe they got like a whole city block or something like this. Block is yours. This block is yours. And the block we saw uh, Vulcan uh, come out to that that's her territory. That's where she runs. You know she she top dog in charge out there and all that. 
and then you know you maybe got people and then you got the uh, the actual real like heavy hitters I feel like I feel like we'll have maybe like three or four and then people who are just just ridiculous the ridiculously strong now granted Vulcan was strong too she she was handling Remy and uh, Eisen really well if it wasn't for uh so it's a quick tangent so I watched I don't know if you, if you don't know this last Sunday um uh, there was a Q&A on the Orochan's Discord. Now, someone asked her how does she pronounce all the names. Now, she said, like, I'm going to be perfectly honest with y'all. I'm not saying it. One, because I don't like it. So, I'm saying, Blake, that's it. That's all I really wanted to say about that. So, Blake, end the story for me. So, yeah, when Blake was on the roof shooting at Vulcan, if it wasn't for him, Remy and Aizen would be dead. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You're not going to change my mind. They would be, especially Remy. Remy should, Remy should have died if, if she wasn't smart enough to convince Aizen and Blake to come with her on these little escapades that she was doing, she would be dead. <laughs> and, the, and the news would have been another dead random vigilante. That's, that's it. And it would just been her face. And maybe, and, maybe, and maybe Vulcan would have burned the sigil into her or something. Maybe she would just hit the body. Like, I don't need this. I don't need all this smoke right now. But yeah. Now, and I, I chalked it up to her just being into like a lot of fights and she's actually, and instead of doing what we find out that most people who get their abilities, if they're like a mid tier or a high tier, instead of, you know, cause we found out when Serafina was little, she went through, you know, normal combat training, you know, hand to hand and all that. But as soon as she unlocked her ability, all that went out the window. So I just attribute to Vulcan being that skilled. One, she's a lot, from what I can tell, she's she like, she may be like 20 like 26 or so so she has a lot more experience at least a decade more of experience on uh remy mm -hmm. and on top of that i feel like she just actually like trains like not in just in using her ability but in close quarters combat i mean and her her ability requires that anyway because it's it was flaming claws or whatever so already she has to be kind of good at hand to hand but i feel like she just she just kept going with it and that's that's what makes john such a, a potent fighter too he's actually good at hand-to-hand -hand combat and not just able to shoot out a beam of lightning like Remy whatever no diss to her but see I feel like I feel like you know I feel like you got like the if, if I had to attribute it to a rank um I'd probably say like uh Vulcan would be on like kind of like an enforcer so to speak, like, you know, like she, like, like, enforcer slash, like, slash distributor. Like, she, like, not only does she distribute, you know, the product, she also, um, you know, she also enforces the, the law of the land that they set or whatever, you know, whatever it is. Like, you know, you, you, you pay me $10, not $10, you pay me like half of your salary a month, you know, you get to stay here and I don't, you know, X you off like everybody else. You feel me? So. And then probably up above that you have maybe like probably like the captains, and then you have you know the I I don't I don't feel like it's like one per I feel like there's like maybe one person who like takes care of the most of the day to day stuff, but I don't feel like it's just w like one single sole person that is running the entire show. It might be. I mean, it won't bother me either way if it is or it's not. I'm just saying I don't think it is, but. You know, let's let's but let's just go with that route. But let's say it's one person up top. You know, we call it. We'll call him King. You know, you got the King. <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna go the same route as uh, the uh, as the uh, ranking system in the Royals at, at the school. So you get that one dude who's the King, and then maybe instead of just like one person like per piece, let's say he has like, because actually. You know, if we're gonna use like chess pieces and all that, I, I'm not I'm not familiar in all the pieces, but let's let's just say that uh, Vulcan is a rook, and I it, 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 I'm I'm pretty sure I'm going to be mistaken. If y'all know if y'all know like the number of pieces on the chessboard, please let me know. But if I'm if I remember correctly, there are you uh, when you play chess, you have like like is it two or four rooks? I feel like it's two rooks, and then you have pawns. Yeah, you got pawns, you got rooks, you got the knights, you got the queen, you got the king. I think that's it. 
I know you got two knights. I think you get two rooks. And then the king and the queen are single pieces and then you have, I think. I don't know how many pawns you have. But I think that's in my hobby is struck. You got the pawns, you got the rooks, you got the uh, the knights, and then you got the uh, king and the queen. I feel like if I had to place Vulcan, I'd probably put her at like a rook. Still, still pretty powerful, but nowhere near the maximum amount of might that they possess and all that. So that's that's where I'm going with that. Now jumping into what their purpose might be, I just think they're trying to I think they're just trying to demolish the um the hierarchy and make a so called better living. I mean I don't know but like I said don't know anything about them at all. Uh, like I said the killing of these vigilantes and all that is really what kind of throws me out because I I don't think they're I don't think Ember is necessarily like pure evil. I think they're like maybe like really chaotic good. Like like they, they want to do good but they they're using underhanded uh, tactics. I don't know which killing is probably like one of the most underhanded things, but you know. It, it's weird, man. It's crazy. Now now, when do, when, now, this speculation is going to be like when I think they're going to pull up. I Like I said, I feel like when season two kicks off in late November, I feel like maybe like, whew, um, maybe like 10 chapters in or less, we're going to get something on Ember. I don't know if it's going to be on the news or we're just going to cut to like a dark, a, a dark room with a round table and just like in the sigil of Ember, like Ember, like we're having our corporate board meeting on who we're going to uh, take out next or something. Or it might, or honestly, I'm really, I'm really thinking like, I'm like, I feel like Vulcan is either going to A, pull up to the school with all the smoke and her squad and be like, I'm looking for this person. Or two, she is going to be a staff member at the school. Because for the most part, we haven't seen any of the teachers. I think like, We've seen the headmaster, we've seen Darren, which is the doctor, we've seen that other uh, blonde haired dude, I think he was like the school, uh, not psychiatrist, the, the guidance counselor. And then we saw like one teacher at the beginning of the series when John raised his hand to use the bathroom when that one dude said something, he chucked a piece of chalk at his nose. I, like I said, I'm going to reread the series so I can so I can see what I missed on uh, the little stuff that uh, Ura-chan laid out throughout it. but. I think we've only seen like maybe like four or five people who actually work at the school, who we know are confirmed to work at the school. So, and you know, most of the students do what they want anyway. So I would, it, it'd be really easy to write in like, oh yeah, Vulcan's like, like uh, one of like the, the algebra two teacher. Just never noticed her because she's really good at concealing her presence because she's technically a, an assassin. <laughs> well, not she, well, we didn't clean. I'm just saying, her skill says she can be a really good assassin. But, yeah, I feel like Vulcan is either going to maybe be a part of the school or she's just going to roll up and be like, look, uh, you interrupted business. You you injured me. Uh, I'm coming up with the smoke and I'm going to take you out. Because Remy, I mean, during the fight, Remy ripped off her mask. I'm pretty sure she's not going to forget that face. <laughs> and I, well, no, Eisen rolled up too, but Eisen had his shirt covered over his face. So he, he might be good, but... She still might be able to like, yeah, I remember you too. And she might have saw, but she, she, at some point in time during that fight, she got a good look at all of them. The only one that might be safe the most is maybe uh, Blake because he was high up on a building, but I don't know. I don't know how good her eyesight is. She might have that 2021 vintage vision or whatever. But that's what I feel. Now, like I said, I don't know exactly when they're going to pull up. I feel like it's going to be early. I feel like season two, for the most part, the first half, maybe the first quarter of it, is going to be focused on Ember, the world, and maybe, in, and every now and then we'll check back in with the Arlo, Remy, uh, Blake, Eisen, Joe, uh, John, and Seraphine. Because right now, I feel like they got a lot of character development. All of them did. You can argue who got the most. That's not, I don't really care about that. But for the most part, this season was focused on our main cast. I feel like the cast is going to take a little bit of a backseat this season uh, around. We're going to focus on Ember, the school, the hierarchy outside of the school, and all that. And, and probably Serafina and John's relationship, because that, that is that, that's going to have to be addressed pretty, not even pretty soon. I wouldn't be shocked if we, if we didn't get addressed 
um, to like ha midway through the um, season where they actually where they actually sit down and talk about it. I don't know. I don't know what we're trying to think. From what I from what I heard in that Q and A, this might be the last season. Uh, I don't know if she can wrap it. And if it is, cool, whatever. If she can wrap it up in a nice, neat way, I'm fine with that. And if not, cool, we get another season. But yeah, man, like I said, this video was just off the cuff, just my speculations about Ember. Now, when we actually do get some concrete evidence and some big news, I will make another part. Right now, I just wanted to talk about it. Tell me what you guys think about Ember. When do you think they're gonna pull up? Are they gonna pull up? Do you think they are doing this for the betterment of society? Or do you think it's just a bunch of crazy people who are like, I'm tired of the people who are in charge. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna be in charge and I'm and in my mind I'll make I'll make everything better or I'll, which in reality they'll probably just make it like ten times worse. It doesn't matter. You replace a tyrant with a tyrant. I mean, did you really change anything? This tyrant just, just probably doesn't like a few different things, but you know it, it is. But it's just it's it's wild man so yeah so also uh, while we're on this while we're at it um if you like this shirt <laughs> this is a shameless plug you can go to kawaiiwaru.com I'll leave the, the I'll leave the link for it in the description below now, go to kawaiiwaru.com they made they made this lovely shirt I will show you what's on the back but I don't feel like getting up <laughs> but they only they don't just do shirts, they do shirts, they do pants, they do coffee mugs, they do stickers, they do cell phone cases, they actually do uh, blankets too. They do a lot of stuff, man. And right now, if you use my code Kawaii Fox, you'll get 10% off. And actually, they actually got another promotion going on right now for uh for some new clothing items they just released. Um I think I think they stack you can use code SMILE too, that'll get you like uh I think 10 or 15 percent off and I think they stack so you can if you go right now you can get maybe like 20 like 20 25 percent off that's the that's a good deal and trust me their their clothes that the stuff that I got from them is quality it's really good I've had this shirt for maybe like two or about a month now and I've washed it a lot and it's it still retains it still it still feels and looks like how it did when I first got it in the mail and all that so yeah so go check out kawaiiwaru.com use your boys code to get yourself 10% off and I mean guys once again just tell me what you think about what you think Ember is gonna do what their objective is why they're doing what they do and all that and like I said there'll be a part two of this video I don't know when there might be a part there might be a part two or three it just depends but I'm done talking it's your boy Fox